so it constricts the blood vessels. Dr. Todd Hussey is the medical director for Seminole County. He's also considered high risk because of his age. I'm 68, and I, um, I went to my local grocery store last Friday for a stupid reason. There were 400 people there. There had to be. It was packed. Since that trip, he is self-isolating at home, following the health advisory from the state surgeon general. With six feet of distance between us, we got his take on the importance of social distancing and flattening the curve. What we know about easily transmitted diseases is that the curve can just take off. I mean, that's what we're talking about, a curve. It's just how many cases do we have? Instead of kind of slowly climbing up, it just skyrockets all of a sudden. And that's because one person gives it to two other people who give it to two other people. And it's like a nuclear explosion. I mean, just suddenly, boom, it can go crazy. The big question is, how exactly can we flatten the curve? The most important thing that we can do is just follow the recommendations. Really take them to heart. This is a very serious illness. It can be deadly for some people. We can spread it way too fast. We can bring more stronger, stiffer recommendations and requirements upon ourselves if we don't follow it. That's not the reason to do it, though. The reason to do it is because it's the right thing. The right thing is to not spread this disease. For Seminole County, those CDC guidelines and recommendations are now requirements due to the social distancing executive order. Dr. Husty was part of the policy group that wrote the order guidelines. Don't go out in crowds. Don't form groups of people um, and, and hang out together. I know we want to, I know this is difficult, but we know the recommendations work. And that includes essential grocery stores, which will now only have 30% occupancy and distancing lines in place to regulate areas like the checkout. That requirement is key. That most people going to the store, stores, grocery, is probably our biggest congregation of people. These new restrictions limiting crowds everywhere are all part of flattening the curve in Seminole County. We're not going to totally get rid of it, so therefore we know we're going to have some cases. We have some cases, but we don't have astronomical growth right now. That means I think everybody's doing the right thing.